welcome to Extra Skill Modeling. For my next build, I'm building this level make 31 fault point scale 1 to 144. Um, like the make 29 that I just built, the the make 31 is going to be a straight out of the box build. Um, there's not much again to the skit like the other one. So we have the two sprues. Small canopy instructions and decal sheet. Let's go through the decal sheet first. It's quite a nice decal sheet. There's one or two options there. Well, one option with uh, quite a lot of little decals on it. So it's better than the MiG 29 so far. And um, the construction sheet with the panels so as I said it's going to be a straight out of the box build so let's go on with it to start with I'm going to be gluing the uh, weapons together with Revel Cement and I'm doing this on the sprue uh, for ease of handling most part of painting is the engine exhaust and that's XF56 metallic grey from Tamiya Onto the weapons and this is getting painted in Tamiya's X2 white. I'm using that as the base colour for the weapons for an art detail on. And painting the, the main fuselage now and the colour is going to be Revel Arc of Colour 76 Light Grey. And this is going to be the predominant colour of the kit. And um, I will take one or two coats uh, to get it done. This is just the uh, first coat going on now. As you can see, I'm, spent, I'm painting most of it on the sprue, and uh, as I've explained in other videos, I'll keep on explaining it, just in case this is, happens to be the first video that you're watching of mine. Um, I paint on the sprue for ease of handling, especially in the one, uh, 144 scale, and um, it enables me as well, uh, when I'm planning it on the build, uh, what I'm going to be doing in the next the next steps it gives me a, a time frame and a, a timeline what I can do is so uh, I speed up my bills rather quickly doing it that way not recommended for everyone but that's how I do it next to be painted as a canopy painting this freehand on these the small canopies so that's the same color as 76 light gray from aqua revel aqua color and when you paint a canopy freehand don't worry too much if you make a mistake because you can always take a cocktail stick and rub off the area that you've made a mistake on. In fact, it's a very good technique. Just take your cocktail stick and run it around the um, the edge. There's always a slight lip that you can take your cocktail stick around and that should get rid of any excess paint. Time to bond the first two main halves together. And, um, it's a nice simple fit, you shouldn't have any problems here, location uh, areas are, are well defined. The nose and cockpit here are getting bonded, um, just make sure they're bonded properly. There's a small hole at the end that fits into the main fuselage, uh, you will need to get them lined up, so I'll just make sure it's all squared off. Here I'm taking a piece of 5mm Tamiya's curved masking tape. And that's uh, to create a painting mask for the actual nose cone. And that is getting painted in Revel Aquacolor 47 Mouse Grey. Now I just took the, the tape, wrapped it around where the join is of the um, nose cone and um, used that as my line for the actual tape. And then once the paint was dry, just take it off to, to reveal your hopefully straight line. As you can see, it worked out okay. Now it's time to um, put the uh, two parts together. So a little bit of cement and it just slides in. And if you've lined it up properly, it will just fit right in without any um, need to position it as you go. Next are the engines to go on. Now it's just a flat surface here. You may want to take a file and uh, rough it up a little bit. I was in keying it to uh, get a better purchase with your cement. Um, make sure of the alignment because there's um, not a recess or nothing to, as a guide. 
the rail wings are next and um, there is a small location point for you to follow for, the, uh, for cementing. You shouldn't have too much problems. Don't be tempted to put in the second wing straight away like um, if you're ever building any of these type of gates. Always make sure it's at least semi dry before you put it in because you don't want to put pressure on it all of a sudden and um, knock out the one you've already put in. Next to go in is the um, tails and there's two little slots uh, they just slide in. Interestingly you know um, they thought about this kit only one tail will go into one position the uh, location area is smaller or larger depending on which one you're fitting so you can't go wrong on what uh, size you're putting it on. Now for the landing bay covers, these needed a, a slight modification uh, to go in again because they expect you to have the the gear out. So um, to to have the covers in the, the closed position, you just have to uh, cut off the lip that would generally rest on for the um, landing bay gear uh, to be open. So it was just a simple case of um, taking my covers and cutting off the little lip before cementing on. The landing gear bay for the front uh, has had a similar problem. The uh, part was a little bit oversized, so I had to sand that down a little bit for it to fit. Unfortunately, I sanded it down a little too much. I had to fill it in the end. I'm using Revo Aquacolor 08 matte black to uh, paint a band of black around uh, one of the weapon systems. Originally, I said I was going to um, do a straight out of the box build, but um, I discovered that the um, cockpit area is just a fat place, uh, piece of plastic if you can see it on the aircraft there at the corner of your screen so I decided to make up a very basic um, cockpit for it so what I've done is I've taken a sheet of plastic card and measured out the size of the canopy first of all and then once I did that I took the corners and snipped them off to create angles then I used my sanding stick to round off the top um, so it creates a curve and that's going to be the instrument panel and then I, I, I put in just a check for fit to make sure it would um, hold inside the canopy then I uh, took measurements from there and cut down uh, the height of it so it would fit uh, between not only between the canopy but the depth of the canopy as well once that's done I took the the slim strip of plastic that I had already measured out and cemented the um, little instrument panel onto one end. Now the, this uh, little strip of plastic is a lot larger lengthwise than I need but that's uh, just for ease of comfort of holding it. I then took two tiny uh, slithers of plastic and glued them in the upright position to simulate uh, some back of the seats. Uh, I cut it down to size, then the parts that I cut off I put them on the floor of the little strip uh, to act as the actual base of the seat, the, the seat itself. And uh, as I was doing this I kept on taking measurements from inside the canopy so it would all fit together. So a couple of little adjustments I, I had to make because um, they didn't quite fit together so I just cut them down, took them all, cut them down a little bit and replaced them back on. And once it was all dried I um, took my snips to the instrument panel and snipped it off from the back of the instrument panel up to the front so I was left with a straight edge there and then I resized the seats again to make sure that they would fit inside the canopy and once that was all dried I uh, sanded down the um, underside of it to get it as thin as possible then painting it, the overall colour is River Colour 76 Light Grey. For the instrument panel I used Tamiya's X56 Metallic Grey. And for the seats I used Revo Aqua Colour 08 Matte Black. For the instrument panel I used um, Tamiya's X2 White. And I just put tiny little dots around in no particular order. Because you can't really see, it, see glimpses of it. And for the actual seat patterns I used Revo Aqua Colour 362 greyish green. I decided this time around I'd put the pylons on the underwing first. They fitted okay, 
you just want to make sure that the top of them was um, nice and level and sanded down. Next to go on was the bottom air of fin files or fin fins, whatever you call them. There's two of these and they fit in the location holes easily enough. And now the area just before the canopy is getting painted in 08 matte black. It's a small area so um, I decided to just um, freehand paint it instead of using masking tape for a straight line. And it was the same on the opposite side, on the underside. Now to provide a little bit of shading for these weapons, I just used a pencil and went over the white colour uh, to give it a, a light grey sort of look. And uh, these weapons have little ridges that you can do this in. Now it's time to put on the canopy. So what I did was the little cockpit that I made up, I placed inside the canopy. It was a tight fit, um, therefore I didn't need any glue to put in. That's how I wanted it. And then I, I glued the area that was the canopy was going to go on to, to put it on. The reason why I done it this way around was I wanted to make sure that the little cockpit that I made up fitted squarely inside the canopy. So it was easier just to place it all inside the canopy before I placed the canopy archery onto the model. The weapons are going on now. Uh, just a little bit of cement uh, along the pylon to place them on. A little trick tip for you, if um, you have some, put a little bit of super glue on, just a tiny amount on the edges and that way that will help you stabilise them so you're not holding them until they set. The tips of these bombs are getting painted in Revo Aquacolor 99 Aluminium. I'm not sure if they need another colour but uh, I just thought I'd put it in for contrast. And once it was dry, time to put it on, so we have done the other two. So a little bit of glue and then a tiny little bit of super glue which will act very quickly and just holds them. It doesn't seem to uh, react with the um, Revel Contra as well, which is good. Now with things on, it's time to put on the decals. So I'm starting off with the underside first before working my way around. I'll just fast forward this process a little bit. So uh, as you can see there's quite a one or two small decals that go on but they all went on rather easily. Going on to the two tail fins here um, which will be the last of the decals to go on. And for the very end uh, I coat a clear uh, pledge varnish uh, to finish it all off. Well I'm going to bring this uh, build to an end now, now that the varnish and that is going on. It was a really good kit to build. Recommend it for any level. Um, you don't have to scratch build a, con a, a cockpit if you don't want to. Um, you can't really see it, but you can tell that there's nothing inside it, so it's entirely up to you. If you get a chance, why don't you check out my other videos? Um, leave comments and whatever if you like. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.